G'day. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's horrifying. <laughs> Don't gouge your eyeballs out. Not yet. Wait till the end of the video. <laughs> I know it's fucking horrifying. <laughs> I've been wanting to test this out for a little while so I can see whether or not I want to invest in a camera for the computer, even though the fucking thing keeps dying on me. Um, but, you know, not for my normal videos, but for videos like this. Um, a little bit of a plan for later on. But a question was recently brought up by Mio Palmo, long-time subscriber to the channel. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. And he brought up a question that maybe might also help out other people as well with this particular mod. And the modern question is the quick action wheel that you can see on the screen here. It can be a little bit confusing for people. So maybe those that haven't raised the question, maybe this will help you out a little bit. So let's go over some confusion points and how to modify this mod so that it can be a lot better for you when you're playing through the game. Okay, this is how I've set it up. I'm not going to say I'm the bee's knees of it. This is the first time I've used this particular mod with this particular mod pack. I haven't played Gamma in ages. I think it's in Gamma, but I haven't played it in bloody donkeys. Well, not donkeys, yes. No, in, in quite a while, okay? So let's go over a few things first. First thing you should do, all right, is go through and disable the quick access slots that are here, all right? So override quick action slot, quick access slots. Disable all of these. Think of this as F1, F2, F3, F4. All right, and you need them for your medical. So as in your first aid kit, your bandages, your syringe, and then your oh fucking hell, I'm about to die button, which is the survival kit. That's generally what I have on F4. All right, so disable those. That'll make your life a little bit easier. With these active, your F1 key will go to your equipment. So whatever you've got equipped on your character at the time. F2 will bring up your medical. I think F3 is maybe devices. I can't quite remember now. But um, it's a lot easier. So that'll help we help with a lot of confusion. The buttons that are here, uh, as mentioned in your question here, uh, the B button, when you press and hold, you can set that for either press and hold with this particular key here, the hold section, or you disable it, and then all you got to do is just press it, and it'll come up. All right? It won't disappear until you click an item or you press it again, perhaps, I think. I myself like the click and hold, so that's the only one I've used, all right? The other one is overriding the ammo wheel key with QAW. I have this disabled because when you press the Y button, that's my shortcut. It's the default shortcut for a stalker. Um, whenever you're selecting your ammo, right, uh, if your mouse... Uh, as you know, it gets caught between the up and the down just that little bit, then it slowly rolls over when you're about to select something, and then the fucking thing will flip over. All right? You can still access your wheel by pressing the Y button and using your mouse wheel to flip between all the different wheels. Yeah? So I disable it, so it's just that the standard default anomaly one, and then I can flip between my different ammo types from there. Helps with any confusion at all. All right? So these are the main confusion points that can happen. And these are the settings that you should probably set up. All right. Tab selects, uh, tab settings. You don't need to worry about any of this. Just leave it. You probably could set the eight down to seven because there is a spare wheel there. All right. And this will erase that wheel. Uh, I'll probably try that out later on. You can try that yourself. See what happens. Miscellaneous section. Now, there is a section here where you can slow down time while open. This is a little bit more RPG, as I, was, as I was saying, I want my game to have more of an RPG feel to it, uh, just without the crafting side of things. Um, you can select this, and that'll help you out a little bit more when you're going through and selecting whatever items you want to go and use. Yeah? Uh, old, mags, uh, Red old Mags Redux compatibility. I don't know why you'll be using the old, old one. Maybe it's a compatibility issue with your particular mod pack. Make sure you select that unless you've grabbed the latest one from GitHub, which is what you should probably grab. It doesn't really have any compatibility 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 issues with anything, really. It's been quite good. All right, so those are the main confusion points that we've just gone over. Now, within the game, uh, as to the question that was brought up, the thing that I think is confusing you is when you press and hold the B button, as you can see here, I'm on devices. All right, let's say I leave it on 
sorry, it wasn't on devices, I was on scopes. If I leave it on devices here, and I bring out my gun, shoot it a couple of times, do a couple of jumping jacks, and I press and hold the B again, it'll bring up the devices again. You just need to be cognizant of the fact that whatever, wherever you leave the wheel is where it will be when you load it up again or press the button again. Yeah? And that even happens with level transfers. If you leave Cordon to go into Great Swamps, it'll still be on devices. All right? Um, most other games, when you level transfer from one area to the other, uh, most mods will reset to whatever they were, okay? Whatever the original uh, setting was. And this mod doesn't do that. Now, I don't know if there is a button that can uh, be pressed or any sort of setting there. I don't see it. Um, that'll make it do that, but just need to be aware of it. And I think that's where your confusion is, but I thought I'd go over all the other things just in case you've got some confusion there with all the other buttons as well or anybody else that may have thought, oh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, hopefully answers it. Me, I just couldn't really type it out. I thought maybe this is a good opportunity to test out recording and do a video to explain it a little bit better for you. Don't know if my light is very good, but uh, this is the light that I use. Got a little magnifying glass in this, the one I use for when I paint my miniatures and stuff like that. <laughs> hey, got to use what you got, you know? The phone's actually sitting here with my little miniature fucking holder. So it holds my miniature so I can just paint. <laughs> anyway, hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for watching.